This is the reaction of copper 2 sulfate and magnesium metal. As you can see, the magnesium replaces the copper, therefore this is a single displacement reaction. Magnesium sulfate and copper metal is formed. Why? This is because of the reactivity series. The reactivity series, or activity series, is an empirical, calculated, and structurally analytical progression of a series of metals, arranged by their reactivity from highest to lowest. In this case magnesium is more reactive than copper, therefore it would preferentially want to donate its electron to the polyatomic sulfate ion. The same is true with aluminum, although being under magnesium, it is still well above copper on the reactivity series. Let's start this experiment by adding a saturated solution of copper sulfate in a beaker and conical flask. Add in a piece of aluminum foil to the beaker. Just some gentle swirling to get things going. Here is some freshly prepared magnesium fillings. Add a generous amount to the conical flask. This is a time lapse of the two experiments. Huh? The aluminum seems to react very slowly with the copper sulfate. The magnesium and copper sulfate reacted exothermically, meaning it released heat energy. We added in some fresh aluminum. Finally there's a reaction. The aluminum foil slowly turns brown copper colored. Aluminum's oxide layer is very good at preventing the direct contact of the reactants. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.